Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Bulgarian State Lover, but we gotta talk about consolidation of power over Adrianopol. Thankfully, after months of occupation, it seems as though citizens with Adrianopol have finally accepted the new political realities and are willing to become Bulgarian citizens. In addition, we have received much help from our soldiers who have helped mostly pacify the most vocal group of our opposition. So right now it's considered a colony state with excellent controls been consolidated and more stability political power. So if you click on it now, it's still a colony state, so I'm not sure what really, truly happened, but... Oh well, we've got a few comms to go through, but we're currently doing Prepare the Bulgar Cossacks. A reformed cavalry force, not just consisting of horses, but also mobile, more motorized, and me mechanized armored vehicles, will be commissioned to give us an edge on the planes and other suitable trains. Very nice. But we really want to do the hordes of the Bulgars, who are operations involving Ukraine and Russia, countries much, much larger than us. We require an army of equal footing to them, many people. Will be conscripted into the army, whether they like it or not, and fight for a bigger and better Bulgaria. So we'll get five percent more crew population. We get better five percent consumer goods, which is better. Better division trading time. We lose five percent output, but we get two military factories to make up for it. So that's why we're doing this one immediately. This way, we get a lot more population because we're demobilizing right now, which is not good. Um, so it is what it is. But honestly, uh, I'm very excited for this campaign because we did super well oh, so far, like in this campaign. Like the first episode was so good for us. Oh my god, I cannot stop talking about it. It's so good for us. We can use more better support companies too. Well, you know, yeah, we could always use a lot better things. But prepare the Bulgar Cossacks. Honestly, if I knew that we were going down this route, I probably would have gone mobile warfare. But then again, that's still pretty difficult. Um, trying to do that and everything else. Uh, so maybe not. We'll see. Uh, get some of that because that's always useful. And yeah, more population and military factories. First con, slash and burn. That's not bad. That's actually very good. Research speed. Intentions of restoration. Get claims and some fuel and 25% war support. Cooperate with the Navi Bulgar shipping. First con. Bulgar identity. I'll get more national populism. History of the Bulgar. Eliminate orthodox influence. Uh, let's see. Division organization. Traditionary. It's not bad. Medical equipment. Revolutionized incendiary warfare. Infantry support equipment. So infantry equipment plus 10% attack. Close air support, plus 7.5% attack. Ooh. We could go to war with Serbia, but they do not exist. State atheism. Oh my god. Bring Tengri back. Oh. That seems like a lot of fun, too. Uh, let's keep working on this here as well. Yeah, let's go that way. So after this one, we would like to do what? Technological institutions. Fortify the north. That's not bad. 10% more war support, but we already get a lot anyways. I read this one last time, so if we're going to read this one, please go right ahead. We still have to talk about the Muslims here. Bulgarian learning language exams, so. Huh? Even the Muslim ignorant people can understand that it's calamitous when your own subjects are unable to speak even the official language of your nation. That's why we must have Muslims, minorities within our nation, administer their affairs in Bulgarian and subject the Islamic officials to Bulgarian language exams. Because why not? In the meantime, I do want to go to war with more people, though. Ah, uh, now we're recruiting more population. Beautiful. Because we did try to save a lot of the manpower. Consolidation of power in Saloon. Uh, thankfully, after months of occupation, it seems as though the citizens within Saluna finally accepted the new political realities and are willing to become Bulgarian citizens. Oh, we, in addition, we've received much help from our soldiers who have now passed by the most vocal of our opposition. So, oh, awesome. That's flipping great. Great, 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 great. Honestly, I still want to kind of go to war with more people if possible. The chief of the navy. Base strike, we'll just go with that. They cancel non aggression pack, so be it. We don't really care. So, this is the Cairo Axis. We could go to war with them too. How bad would it be? It could be very bad, honestly. Eh, they don't like us either, huh? We could get the Suez. Oh, no, not quite the Suez. Hmm. We have non aggression pack or with them too. No, no, we don't. With their faction leader. Cancel it, so we have to wait before Christmas. Oh. Okay. We don't have the support equipment for it yet. We'll get there eventually. Don't keep doing that, anyways. Iran. So these guys are all allied. Ah, the Eurasian bloc. So we have to go to war with them, anyways. Interesting. I guess in the meantime, though, uh, let's go to this one because that's still really good to do. Ethiopia is gone too. So who over here is by themselves? Albania is. Well, is, is there any sort of justify? Justify. No, there's no justification of speeding upness. Speeding upness, that's just not how you say it, but whatever. Uh, we're not sure why not. 
Well then. It is Finland. They, the Russians will come knocking eventually too. So, not oh, a research lab. Let's go for that one next. As much as I want to do this stuff as fast as possible, a research lab is very useful too. Logistics, field hospitals, and engineers are all crucial elements. Support elements. Do any division. If we were to fight smart and allow for the preservation of men to emerge victorious, we must make strides in the field of support equipment. It's very true. Keep upgrading. Keep upgrading. Keep researching. Get some new research because at this point it doesn't even matter. Um, so yeah, we'll do that, and then we'll do Georgi Arkosovsky, Rakovsky Military Academy. And based in Sofia, uh, Georgi Rakovsky, uh, oh, look at that, Military Academy is, is Bulgaria's oldest military institution of higher education. By pouring funds into the academy, we can ensure the quality of our officers are better than ever before. Of course. Of course. Uh, is there anything about Albania here, though? Uh, uh, Muftis, Muftis speak out against language examinations. Uh, some of the older Muftis of the Bulgaria found it a bit hard to naturally pick up on the language and begin to lodge complaints with the government, requesting that be given translators to aid them with their language issues. Very well, provide them with translators. So it's done this route, pull down the ego, go to war with them, but we're not going that way, so... Alright, well, we might have to get started then. Um, we're gonna go this way too, right? Yep. No one's gonna miss these guys, right? That's right. And helps us get ready to go to war with more people too. There you go. So we'll do that one, and then we'll do this one for it to simply integrate the Pomax. The Pomax are, for all intents and purposes, Bulgarians have been Islamicized by the Ottomans during the conquest of the Balkans. This is why they must take, we must take care to introduce them to the habits and mindsets of a Christian population, so they may be coerced and accept the Bulgarian national identity. So get that one done. For, border fortification is not bad. We don't really need it now, though. According to the honor and the dead. Ooh, we'll remove. Ooh. That'd be good to get rid of too. Military with the state. Ooh, more population would be very nice as well, but right now I think we're doing quite decently, not gonna lie. We're making what, 18 divisions, which we do need a large army. Cut it down into more, why not? Uh, we're just lacking some support equipment. Ah. And if they don't want to go to war with us, that's okay with us too. We definitely need some steel mechanized. Ah, good, they cancelled it. Good, good, good. So they want to go to war with us, that's fine with us too. Um, in the meantime, I don't think Albania has quite a bit of resources, so we're gonna start extracting even more. Because resource-wise, they don't have any uh, steel. That sucks. Well, the Rashidi Empire. Um, so in Syria, it looks like they have nothing. Egypt uh, has three things of fuel. The spot is... Uh, they have a sp oh, hello. Uh, Broskis? Well... What are they trying to take? Sophia. Why would you want Sophia? Well, that means you have to go through Ukraine and the Reichspact to get through there. I mean, yeah, there's this little section here, too, but that is god-awful, and I would never, ever, ever advise anyone fighting through there unless you're, like, extremely skilled at doing that. And the AI is not skilled enough to fight through there. Now, maybe they can naval invade. But other than that, I would not advise them to do that. But if they want to try, they are more than welcome to try, and I will hold them off. Probably. We will hold them off. We, together. Who would join the second Valkyrie? The second Valkyrie is broken out with the common urge. The Germans facing off against each other would make it consider a battle of not only strength, but nutrition. We're to have a say in the foreign affairs in the world, we must intervene as soon as possible. You know, that's nice and all. I'll be honest, I don't really care. I'd rather focus on Russia and then getting all the core population of Russia under our, our feet. Or under our hands and whatever. So I'll go with Albania first. 50 days. There, how far away from us? We'll kick, kick, kick them out very fast. I'm not super concerned about that. Yeah. As long as it's just the Russian state justifying on us, that's fine with us. No one cares. So do this one. We'll do this one too. Even though I do want to continue going down here, slash and burn. So, even though the research speed would be nice, but at least forcibly integrate them first. But some comments include I did ask you guys what you like using on your planes, and one person said uh, he likes to use the best single engine, get three heavy machine guns, two armor plates, and one single turret for a fighter. That's a lot. Is that really good? I don't know. That's why I asked. Uh, happy 1940, though, everybody. Uh, someone says, uh, Merry Christmas. And I say, Merry Christmas to you, too. Uh, someone says, Wait, what? What is Bulgarist? Someone else replied, I have no idea. Probably some esoteric stuff. Yep. Yeah. The Kaiser Redux devs come up with some of the craziest stuff, which I love. I love how crazy it can get. Makes me happy. Oh, hello. Where are you? Fighters in close air support? Uh, yeah, you go there. Um, uh, a decent amount of fighters. There you go. They go to war this way. They go to war with everybody, so. Let's get them pull next gun. Ah, oh, good. Five research slots. Not bad. But after that, we're going to continue. Ooh. 
Ooh, that'd be good to do, but ooh, claims we'll get more fuel. Special forces. Oh, we can, we need that seal. Valor and honor per soldier. Every soldier must carry the principles of valor and honor. These two principles are what make a good memorable soldier. No Bulgar soldier will be forgotten on the battlefield, however. We'll spare no enemy soldier. It shall be enforced along with the Bulgarians. 18 more steel will be super good. Look at this guy. Nice. Got more organization for infantry. But the more important thing, in all honesty. Very good. So right now, it looks like in general it's all going down, including there. Uh, it's going down there too, which is very good. Because right now we're at negative 29, which is pretty bad. On all honesty, that's pretty bad. Yeah, join the second Valkyrie. Yeah, we could. I'd rather go over here though, maybe. Just research speed, refinery construction. That seems like really useful. I like radars, but, you know, electronics is okay. Over here, infantry stuff, artillery stuff. Artillery would probably be better just because the reason already, you know, superior firepower, but whatever. Just train if you have to. You don't have to train everybody. Just train if you have to. Oh my god, we need so many more guns. Where are the guns at? Here. Should save up a couple guns, yeah? I should save a little bit more there too. Uh, truck wise, a little bit too. Good. Oh, that'd be so nice to do, but we're gonna instead do slash and burn. Which one? What are we gonna do? I don't remember now. <coughs> Excuse me. Slash and burn would be nice. Oh, the one, this one. No. Is this one? No. This one, no. This one. This one, there we go. Actually, how much are still extracting? It might be worth it to come down to limited exports in all honesty. Valor and honor per soldier, of course. Followed up with consumer goods slash and burn. Best of weight. Volgograd. Because we do have claims on stuff. That makes it easier for us to justify getting points and whatnot towards the enemy in the peace deal. So we're doing that one. Well, history of the Bulgar people. Many of the Bulgarians will know little of Bulgar history, which is not only idiotic, but also treasonous. History books will be subscribed immediately and handed out. To every citizen for mandatory reading, of course. Uh, uh, maybe the love of history will draw some in the field of science and other such fields. Yeah, you never know. Oh, the divisions we're making, I love it. Because these divisions are relatively decent. They are 18 combat width. And they're decent. You know, I can do some better stuff here, whatever. Let's see, hydroelectricity... Liberalization, universal health care, uh, land reform, Al Albanian Bulgarian trade. I don't remember that, but okay. Dissolution of the federal feudal systems. Uh, that's not bad. You know what? Don't even call anybody on. Just go in. We'll be fine. I have what? Three divisions max. Tarana time. Beautiful. Uh, I don't want to put too many divisions here. Because I really want them to be baited into attacking your lines, so... They're in the Reich's pack. That's pretty isolated for Armenia, holy... Uh, not, uh, for Georgia, not Armenia, but wow. Um, in the meantime, I want you guys up here, perhaps? Or... get a little bit of fun going down this way. Maybe. You are gonna... Uh, put you up here just in case. Oh, no. You're, you're over here. That's right. 22 and just help guard coasts and victory points because they're not allowed to end anywhere there you go do that and you guys can just kind of hang on Sophia for now beautiful if we can take that many divisions just walk, work our way all through here and take out the Sultanate uh, I'd like that a lot Thank you. Albania is not really a challenge for anybody. It shouldn't be, at least. Um, and you guys have two destroyers. There you go. Oh, no. No more trade. Oh, no. Say it's not so. All right, you guys can do that. Give them plenty enough time, because they will attack. Fate of Albania. I don't care. They're ours. Beautiful. Let's do the Bulgar people. 
<coughs> Bulgar identity. Many Bulgarians will still identify as Bulgarian and not Bulgar, which is unpatriotic. We'll subvertly convert, uh, convert everybody and one by one into a Bulgar through the use of paper, paper and sound. No Bulgarian is no Bulgarian is not a Bulgar. I need to get educated myself, man. As much as I want to do all these, I do want to get down here too. I want to get artillery specialist. Oh boy. Well. We'll try that for now. It is 1940, so we've got some better stuff here. Are they going to attack? We own two divisions, but for the most part around here, they do go to war with us. Okay. Interesting. Just kind of hang out there. Well, remember that, please go right ahead. I can't do that one now. Increase the chance with Russia? Oh well. Well. There you go. I'm just gonna hold the front there. Oh, and you guys probably wanna stop doing that too. Well, we're back at war. Hey, war economy, nice, I like that. Uh, refinery maybe? Got a lot more roads to build here too. Now, the only problem with us right now, people might want to move through here and attack us from several different sides, which would be quite unnice. But if we move south and do okay against them, that's all I would really care about. I'm not surprised they're not attacking us yet. I wonder if we could even just move in. get all away from them. Maybe. Maybe not. Because I would like to take these up. Oh, all the way down here. That'd be nice. But that would open up the front, no, another front through here. The Entente. Oh, there it would be nice, honestly. Hmm. Maybe there we go. Maybe not. Bulgar identity. The Bulgars I knew. <coughs> More steel we get too. Um, Hordes of the Bulgars. Yeah. I need this one for slash and burn. Lose a lot of stability and political power, though. Wow. The influence of Orthodox to cause for no Bulgarianism. Or Bulgarism, I should say. Everyone knows how treasonous and stupid that is. We, thus, we should destroy the churches. And furthermore, the mosques and all other religions. What religion is to be the one in Bulgaria is to be named later. Uh, maybe we'll get some stability first. Ah, there they go. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, artillery. Better upgrades. And if you can't win there, that's okay. Do your best. That's all I ask. Beautiful. More support attack, more, more soft attack, yes please. Please take that tone out. If you can't win there, that's okay. Just hold for now. Just hold. Uh, hold for now, it's fine. Go when you want to. Fraction. Uh, can probably do some of that. What can we not import? Oh, we are doing not well with that one. Well, that sucks. Eritrea air revolts. So be it. If anything, I would like to concentrate forces right here and go right there. Do that. Do that. Uh, I'll opt for that one. There we go, the Halifax Conference. Not bad. Uh, go with Scavenger. Why not? In the meantime, we're still building ourselves up here, which is decent. Keep working on the saving no matter what. And the Bulgars are new. Well, the Bulgars reestablish, which is the cultural and. Uh, oh, look at that. Uh, people. It's only logical we take what is ours. The Volga will run red with the blood of the Russians, and it should be washed over by the beautiful blue. Everyone knows, and thus, with the ble bleating Volga, shall the world know that we are indeed what they say we are, and we'll reclaim our legacy, we shall. First Khan, fortify the north. I'm oh, really north. Uh, planning speed plus 2.5%. That's not very good, I'll be honest. Ah, uh, reorganization of the pension system. As seen with the massive deaths occurred following with the payment of the veterans' pensions, let's go must reorganize the pension system and work towards better and more efficient apportioning pensions to our soldiers. Yeah, that'd probably be decent to do. The first Khan. Gujaz Ishaki is to be crowned the first Khan of the Bulgar Khan. He will lead this Khan and the people to a rightful place among the Bulgarians and stars. Under the Khan Ishaki's leadership, Volga Bulgaria will be reborn. 
So since we're here, ooh, are we actually losing our smoke? Ideal. Oh lord, get her. You're not allowed to lose, you're allowed to just win. That's all you're allowed. Oh, I guess you got engineers those guys earlier, earlier though. Engineers, any more mountaineers, yeah? Oh, we can afford. Alright, whatever. Well, we've lost 9,000. We're just 42,000, that's not bad, but that part doesn't really mean too much here, obviously. Especially once we go to the war with the Reichspact, then we'll start to do some serious, serious pushing. Um, in the meantime, what else do we have down here? Nothing we really care about. Patrol, yeah, synthetic stuff. Well, let's grab the artillery guy first. I love Artie. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna finish that first. As long as they don't need to invade, we should be okay. And you should be learning quite a bit. Lukov. Becoming an organizer, a trickster, an engineer, a mountaineer almost, too, himself. Very cool. Should be okay here, and I want you guys. The desert sucks, I'm not gonna lie. It just does. This will open up our front quite a bit, but whatever. Should still be able to hold them off. We have this other army that's got on our coast anyway, so. Artillery's fine for now, trucks are fine too. Um, more, oh, actually, you know what? We could probably use more of this here. And more planes, 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 planes. One here, here, here. It's not bad. Very surprised they wanted to attack us so early. Man. Wow. Everything is looking okay. Everyone else is not so much. Oh well. <coughs> Two more cities would be nice. I have to get 5% more consumer goods and point one more political power every single day. Two a day is nice. Require slash and burn. Learn about uh, Dark Sour. Please go ahead. Slash and burn. Land currently unavailable or unsuitable for new facilities <coughs> will be burned, resulting in the flattening of the area that allow for the construction of aforementioned facilities. Using flamethrowers and airplanes will ensure that Bulgaria is operating at its full extent. School flourishing. Sponsorship of education at, we have been delegating out to schools has at least showed some results. Schools of Bulgaria are doing much, much better than they have in the past, and obviously history is one of our favorite subjects and polls conducted in the flourishing schools. Good to hear. Very good to hear, actually. Uh, are they doing anything here? I mean, logistics is not bad. Naval range is okay. Eighth generation. Uh, I'll see if we can get more army XP. But we'll do this one. So it falls to syndicalism again, huh? So be it. No, oh, we're done mobilizing, huh? That sucks. They've got a lot of soldiers on the border. I'm very surprised they've not tried to move out very much at all. Overwhelming fire. Delay doctrine, huh? Tactical withdrawal. Well, let's go with. What's, what's one of the further ones down here? Let's go see. Down here. Naval's breakthrough. Counters ambush. I'll go that, that one. I'm going to do stuff here too, huh? 1940s. 41, 40s. That's not bad. Planes. Alright. Slash and burn. Every single state we get one more infrastructure, which is nice, but whatever. Uh, yeah, George Bush. Expression barrage, huh? Oh, look at that. Nice. Lots of defense. Breakthrough. Right Oopsie. Guess in the wrong group to go. Probably did. Oh. Well, you're probably gonna go anyway, so. Where are the guns again? Huh, not good. Three, two, one. Let's see what we can do. Oopsie. How big is this group? Uh, it's not bad overall. Good. At this point, I'm going to move you and shift you over here. I 
Um, you know what? Oh my, oh my. Yeah. We could try it. The full front. Oh, you're all down here too. Try that full front. We'll see. If we can't push through here, that's okay. That really is okay. Adaptable is very good as well. Very, very good. In the meantime, you guys are actually going to be doing this. Do that too. Greater Columbia, huh? Not bad. Slash and burn. Uh, of course, we're going to eliminate influence. Uh, I'll probably want to do a technological institutes. With this economic progress we've made in the recent years, it's only natural that the technology sector would benefit as well. With the establishment of various technological institutes all around the country, Bulgaria will be go boldly into the modern world. Uh, what is this one? Revolutions and incendiary warfare. Fire is one of the greatest discoveries of mankind, and fire is still one of our greatest assets. We should load its power onto our airplanes and send them towards the lines of the enemy. Unholy amounts of hellfire will rain down from upon them, seeping into their bunkers, close their doors, under the doors, and they will burn. With new chemicals, of course. Uh, fortify the unruly north. Our northern border, especially the countryside, is afflicted by small town banditry and occasional iron guard raids. If we would be properly prepared for the Romanian invasion, we must establish a network of forts and garrisons up north. This warfare stuff sounds like fun. And then improve upon field medicine. Usually, de designated hospitals do a better job at healing the wounded and sick. We have to change our soon with improved strategy on the field of medicine and expand the role of medics in the war to come. New chemicals shall be tried, new substances will be experimented with, and whatever to make us victorious on the battlefield, of course. Rubber. Um, fuel wouldn't be a bad idea. Cannons. I like cannons a lot, actually. Losses, 70,000. They've lost 78,000. They've lost, yeah. The Middle East is not going to be able to hold out against us at all. Which is good. Syria, I don't think just can hold out. stuff, refineries, ooh, plane stuff, fighters, yeah, we've got a lot of fighter stuff here, uh, overall not bad, oh, uh, intentions of restoration, although Shaki has supposedly been a Bulgar, so it's time to reveal the world the true nature of Bulgarism, which other world know that you have a Bulgar Bulgarian restore statehood, and will bring back Bulgar Bulgaria by force, scientists discover a new chemical, our hardworking scientists have finally shown us their work, it happens to be a new type of enhancement drug, more potent than we have, and slightly less dangerous. The military wants to use it, but what about image abroad? Must give us more attention we need to implement the use of the new drug. So, we lose a lot of bit of stability and political power, but more speed, organization, attrition, recovery rate, medical equipment. Heck yeah. Nice. Very nice. Also, we're trying to get this tower right here, just so we can cut these divisions off up here and kill them off. So we stopped attacking, and they're attacking us now too, which is very nice. Uh, but we gotta, we gotta make sure we, uh, keep an eye on our manpower, too. Manpower's gonna be important. So that's good. These guys are now cut off. Let them die. Let them starve. And these, and these guys are, uh, still wanna keep attacking us for some reason. But, you know, I'm okay with that. You guys do that. Yeah, you guys can. You know, that's over a river. It does suck. Whatever. Should be able to get there. I'll get to a level too. Getting to a level would be very nice. Oh, they're attacking us once again. How annoying. And we won. As we should. Pretty good. Very nice. So we're still here just doing all these other focuses. Cooperate with the Navi Bulgar Shipping. Uh, Navi Bulgar Shipping is the largest shipping company in Bulgaria, currently based out of Varna. We're not directly state owned, we wise we cooperate and work closely with them in the future. Uh, of course, I read this one earlier. Enemy in the East. Uh, we already took this, took them out, but the well, sick men of Europe is in a position to threaten us now. We don't know what might happen in the future. By making sure we're prepared, the Eastern menace won't be able to exploit us in the, our moment of weakness. And we read this one earlier, too. Uh, for the tank research. Invented by the British in 1916 during the Valkyrie, the tanks were able to break through enemy lines and possess firepower never before seen. Researching new armor will be critical in the Bulgarian war effort, of course. 
Ah, uh, very good, very good, very good. Uh, look at that one, why not? I just want to make sure we can break over. If not, getting to Aleppo would be important. Uh, if it's only two divisions we have to fight, we might be able to do that. Just taking Aleppo away from them would be a huge boon to our war friends. These guys are attacking us like crazy. So, good to keep that in mind. Oh, you are not looking good, are you at all? Both go there. We have a small airframe. That's what we're really trying to work on. Armor plates, finally. Uh, extra fuel tanks don't really need those. 1941, happy 41, everyone. Let's get some more alpha, because my god, we're out of stuff here. Uh, do that too. Uh, more divisions would be nice. All across the line. Uh, there you go. Then after that one, we will probably do some state armament manufacturers. Foreign government funds and the subsidization of key armaments and manufacturers, and even going so far as to create state-owned factories, is crucial for the Bulgarian war effort. After all, more factories means greater production of weapons. Mountain infantry. Oh, we mount infantry three, huh? Uh, or the uh, bypass. Making an effort to develop and refine our mountain fighting techniques will be crucial to the war for the Balkans, especially taking into account how mountainous Macedonian and southern Bulgaria are and draw battle plans. In order to maintain us in readiness, we must draft the contingency plans in, in the case of our enemies. We've been circled us like vultures that they are. And so here we are at everybody. The war against the Russians, well, it's going. We've lost sort of a million, but against Cataracts, we killed off about 900,000 and roughly a million of the, the Russian faction. So overall, not bad. And I've decided to move the, those garrison troops, which we probably don't need, hopefully. Uh, now we're attacking Egypt down here, so we're doing all right. We're drawing up battle plans, but we have border fortifications to talk about. Well, invigorating our soldiers is certainly helpful. It's also vital that we begin to place fortifications on our borders so as to ensure the key areas will be not impossible to take. And even if the enemy does manage to take fortified areas, so it costs them dearly in terms of both equipment and manpower. As we will honor our dead, too. We must remember the sacrifice made by those during the Valkyrie, those veterans who had fought and some now crippled and others dead, and have brought about the Bulgarian Golden Age, must be properly honored and mourned. We should not, must not ever forget our soldiers. And we will do this one, too, but, like, that's a massive stability hit that we kind of can afford-ish? I'm running out of that, too, but, you know, whatever. I want you guys at least take one good go there, 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 there. Oh. Oh. I guess you go there, to there, to there. It doesn't really matter, because... Honestly, for the Cairo Pact, I'm not even advancing on any other front. All we need to do is take out Egypt, and that's it. Ooh, there goes New York City, but 99% of the way there. We get that Mirsa Matra, and that's all that matters. That's literally all that matters. So, that's, that's fine with us. Uh, arouse the masses. Must make, take must take to arouse the spirit of the Bulgarian people. Oh, crap, my apologies. Uh, well. Hold on. And we will arouse the Bulgarian people, and we'll take all those ships, too. We're going to be known as, like, the new Ottoman Empire, but really the new, like, Byzantine Empire, but really the new Bulgar Empire, really, in the end. Holy crap, look at all this. It's going to be a lot of garrison. Thanks, guys, even though I blew up a lot of your ships. Thanks. Um, yeah. Uh, must take to rally in the spirit of the Bulgarian people and bring up the morale and incentivize them to fight for defense and preservation of the Bulgarian state along with Bulgaria. Oh, I was going to tank our stability because I'm going to just straight up annex these guys. I didn't think about that. My bad. A lot of territory, though. Manpower. Beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, that's absolutely beautiful. Uh, but you're gonna help do this too. Oh my god. 100 percent Holy crap. Uh yeah, I do that area too, probably. There goes, oh, the CSA is actually dead. One of the rare campaigns really actually do die. Go figure. Yeah, this, this is next. Alright, so that's the case. They're gonna start expanding like crazy. And uh yeah. Won't do that. But in the meantime, we will probably use these guys to help fight. Towards the center part of the line here and really focus on those guys over there. We're going to lose a towel here or there, of course. That is to be expected. You know, not, it's not going to be perfect for us, but whatever. Uh, heavy ship stuff, yeah. Because this is going to be a pain in the butt. Now we're going to return the Bulgars to our last land. Our vandalizing loss uh, in the Fourth Balkan War humiliated the Bulgarian nation. That sense of humiliation not transcended the Bulgarian nation. Uh, numerous Bulgars inhabit these lands. They are our right, not these naysayers. And we'll put it on the battlefield. We'll get our navy. It's imperative that we turn against, turn our gaze towards the expansion and maintenance of our navy. Especially considering the rapid changes being made in naval warfare and the great importance being placed on the possess, possesses ion of a proper navy. Bulgarian Air Force. Uh, it's paramount that we turn our gaze towards expansion and maintenance of our air force, especially considering the rapid changes made, uh, are being made in the area of warfare and the great importance being placed on the possession of a proper air force, of course, too. So, that's all nice to do. And we'll do that one too. Uh, see, the atheism sounds like fun. Plus 20% stability. I like that a lot. Um, but bring Tengri, Tengrism, or Tengri back to us as well. Like, I don't want to do that one. Because we get more attack and defense too, which I do like. 
The Mongols of the old brought their Tengri religion to Europe. It does not reside in Europe anymore. We'll change that. Yushaki believes in it, so believe in Tengrism. Well, we shall. The church will become holy sites for Tengrianism. There are previous reli religious statutes modified new. Which, I, mean, I guess we're not releasing really motorized stuff. I guess the old gods are the, the way the true Bulgar. See, atheism, though. Uh, there are no gods. Bulgaria is atheist. There are no gods. Gods not a thing to behold. All things to believe in. Anyone who believes in this false idol will be forced to believe the correct way. The churches will stay down, and the statues of Jesus and some of the religious figures shall be torn out for museums. I don't know, I might go with this one. See, atheism sounds like more fun to me for this campaign. Uh, I think I just go in. Let me just do this. A lot of green. A lot of manpower. We're so mobilizing more. It's pretty nice, too. With Bulgar hordes and whatnot. I'm just worried about stability. Because I want these guys to really push hard into here. Take Baghdad, take southern Iran. If we can push through here, that'd be great, but... Of course, there is a river here as well. How much manpower does Iran have? My god. They have way too much on only limited conscription. Yeah, we really need Germany to go to war with these guys, because this is going to take forever. And honestly, at this point, like, I might just do some funky stuff. I might have them go to war with each other. I don't know. We'll see. But, like, it, they need to be taken down a notch already. Because there's really nothing we can do about this, so you're going to stop attacking. And we're going to take Baghdad back immediately. I guess we do have Baghdad. Baghdad. Daddy bags. No ship designer. That's weird. Oh, odd. But okay. Honoring our heroes, of course. Well, if we have to. Only by honoring those uh, who had so willingly sacrificed themselves as well to defend the Bulgar state as people can never hope to move forward as a nation and properly maintain the dominance of our armed forces. Today is a joyous day for some and some uh, summer day for many more. Day we mourn. I'm going to stay in place, son. You'll see what we're looking like a huge Bulgarian Khanate. God dang, we really expanded, didn't we? Uh, but I think we'll end it there, you know. Oh, oh a wrath upon the Don Kuban. The Don Kuban, you will be the first step towards a reclamation of Bul uh, Bulgaria's homeland. Sea ships are being amassed for a theoretical naval invasion. The panel will see the fall of the Don Kuban Union and the rise of New Bulgaria over there. But I think I'm going to end it there because uh, I think we've gone long enough. But if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. See you tomorrow as we're going to continue struggling through. Although Russian state. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.